We got a poorly baby in the house. Can you come and say hi to the vlog? Oh, say hiya. Hiya. Not a happy Can buddy. You kiss? <laughs> He's like, she's like, no, mom. No. Give me kisses. You want to go on my back? Oh, has she even done that since she come back? Yeah. Oh, Meepy, you're so cute. With your little helicopter tail. Oh, she's just gonna sit there. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am gonna be vlogging. I mean, I say today, it's like three o'clock now, but I'm gonna be vlogging, getting ready for my first night out of lockdown. You do not understand how excited I am to finally be getting back to some kind of normal. I'm going out for some drinks with one of my bestest friends in the entire world. You will see her, I will meet her a little bit later because obviously I'm going for drinks with her. I'm gonna probably film a little bit at the bar. Yeah, so let's just jump on into the video. All right, so, I must make a disclaimer. Is it a disclaimer? I'm not really sure. But this thing. Phoebe, would you like to explain what this is on my head? Accidentally, I burn Ellie's head. With curling irons on, what day is it say? Tuesday, like Saturday, yeah, it was Saturday. Yeah, she burnt my head, so it started to scab up, which is beautiful when I want to put a full face of makeup on. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna go and jump in the shower because I mean, the light doesn't, Okay, it does show you. I had my fake tan last night using natural. <laughs> using the St. Moritz tan because I ran out of my Bondi Sands, which was devastating. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and rub, rub this off. No, I'm gonna go and wash this off and then I will be back. And um, we're gonna do my hair. Yeah. Boop. I don't think we mentioned, but um, our kitty cats went in for a, what's it called for a female? Um, to be spayed? Spayed, yeah. Um, on Thursday, so they're still feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. Meep's cheered up a little bit, and she's a little bit more playful, and as you can hear. She's very loud. She's a loud purrer. Mm -hmm. Right, now I am showered and looking like a drowned rat. Um, I don't know what to do now because it's 20 past three and my uh, like booking starts at quarter to six. So what I might do is dry my hair and then get Phoebes to curl it and then work out what I'm actually gonna do with it. Cause I do kind of want to put it up in a bun, but I have such a big forehead as you can see. Also this looks a little bit better now. The scab's kind of come off it, it's a bit sore. So I might put some cream on it. But yeah, and then I'll just start doing my makeup and just chill when I'm doing it. I've got a towel on, by the way. I look like I'm naked, I'm not. Yeah, and we'll just start, well, I'll just start getting ready. Phoebe's obviously not coming because she's not 18 yet. But yeah, so I will take you through the next couple of steps. Woo! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Makes your boobs look really small. Yeah, but everything does. No, but that's like, you literally like, you have no tits whatsoever. No, you see, that's different, because you sat down. Makes you look like you have boobies now. If you like, do that thing. Just girly tricks. <laughs> All right, so change of plan. Obviously, I said I was going to be doing my hair first, but I'm not. I'm going to be doing my makeup, because to be quite honest with you, it just takes too long to dry and then curl, and I just can't be bothered for that right now. And to be quite honest with you, I just want to get my makeup on my face, because... We don't want this being on the screen for too long, do we now? No. So yeah, I'm gonna go and grab a glass of wine. Phoebe's gonna probably not chat to you because she's an antisocial hellhound. Excuse me. Remember, 
When I shout at you to hang your head out the window on the way home tonight, just it's, it's nothing against you. He thought he was real bloody funny with that joke, didn't he? See, there's a running joke in my family that I get drunk off a of wine gum. So... How can you drink so, that shit? I've got my wine. Phoebe obviously can't drink because she's under 18 and she doesn't like wine anyway, so... That's a bit of a shit show. But... Give me a mojito! Alright, so, I did half my face and absolutely hated it. The foundation was just too light. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and use like a darker one and then maybe lighten it up a little bit. So yeah, we're starting again. Phoebe's obviously pretty much done her face. I'm just gonna have to get a bit of a wriggle on. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with the Insta Blur primer from The Body Shop. This one's a mattifying one. What are you most excited <coughs> for about uni? Um... I'm probably most excited for meeting new people um, and definitely starting the course as well um, because obviously it's been a long time coming and I've been studying for ages. You told them that you're a study freak. No. So Ellie decides to still study her course that she hasn't even started because she's bored. It's not because I'm bored, I just want to be prepared. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible in shade can't tell you because it hasn't got the lid on i think it's like 306 360 actually i think yeah definitely a better match than what i had before eh? Phoebe? <laughs> buddy that's foundation completo i'm gonna go in with this concealer now i'm gonna use a very little bit of this because this is the revolution concealer define infinite long wear concealer crease proof with you don't care about that bit, uh, in the shade CO2. Now this is a really weird shade, it's quite yellow. We need to go on holiday. Oh yes, we do. Where would you go? I want to go to Santorini in Greece. Oh. In Greece? In Greece. <laughs> yeah, Santorini in Greece would be lovely actually. Our families celebrate birthdays quite a lot. Especially the 18th. And Any of the, like, the big ones. Like and 40th, 40th are a big one for us. I'm not really sure why, to be honest. So this year, Phoebe turns 18. Yeah. Hard day. Um, I turn 20, so it's not like a... I mean, it's a big one because I'm no longer a teenager, but it's not as big as Phoebe's. So um, she's being spoiled rotten, it's safe to say. Phoebe's quite a difficult person to buy for, so it's a case of you literally asking... Oh, I've got something in my eye asking what she wants and then like kind of putting it around that. It takes um, me about 28 working business days to decide. <laughs> yeah, it literally takes so long, it's so irritating. So this year we're planning on having like a little barbecue at my grandpa's with some family and then we're gonna go to the pub, um, one of our favorite pubs in Tunbridge Wells, grab a liquor if any of you are from Tunbridge Wells then you'll know. It's one of the best places in Tunbridge Wells. And then we'll probably just come back to my mum's house and have some drinks. My stepdad wants to make like a makeshift bar kind of thing and then we'll get some spirits, probably some Malibu, because Phoebe's a bit obsessed with that. Some no, stuff for a mojito. I've gone out like of my Malibu, Malibu phase now. I've out drunk myself on that. Phoebe, no. So I'm gonna go in with the um, Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in medium brown. Right, Phoebes, what is, uh, where would you see yourself for? Where would you like to be in five years? Um, either a farrier. I would have just finished my farrier's apprenticeship because that's four years and I'm taking a gap year first. But if I don't do that, I don't know. I don't know where I see myself, but hopefully with like a good job. Probably Living moved with in with you. We've been talking about potentially moving in together in the next coming years. It would be after I've finished university. All right, so next I'm gonna take the P. Louise um, base in... I mean, how do you find out what shade it's in, love? I think it's just one. Rumour one. I'm getting to that point of single life where I feel very lonely. Mm. Just want to cuddle, man. Literally, I think I hit that stage. I love cuddling. Six months ago. 
At what age did you realise Santa was not real? I think we found out together. Did you find out before me? Oh, I thought so. Do you remember trying to keep it a secret from Darcy that he wasn't fake? We have a little sister. I think I mentioned this in my first video. And she's quite a bit younger than us. So obviously we knew for a very long time that Santa was not real and had to kind of pretend for her sake. Shout out to you, Darcy, because no doubt she'll be watching the video. I found some cute photos actually of us three. Have you ever catfished anyone? Well, I mean, I kind of think I am a catfish. <laughs> Well, you're not. I look very different without makeup on. You don't look different. Your features just enhanced when you've got makeup on. All right, Miss fucking... No, I haven't. I don't see the point in doing that. Actually, yeah. Well, not really. Well, not really catfish. Have you ever kissed for more than two hours consecutively? Ugh. How's that even possible? Imagine the amount of drool and spit. And how sore your lips would be. Especially when he's got beard. True. How many relationships have you had? Mm. Like um, proper ones. Would you count it as one? Yeah, you were going out for like six months. Yeah. Three. How many have you had? I've had quite a few boyfriends. Mainly when I was younger, I used to have loads of boyfriends, didn't I? Like one every week at school. But I wouldn't count them. Like proper relationships, I've had four. I actually thought I'd had more than three. But that's just been where I've been talking to people mm. or a guy and it's never actually turned into boyfriend-girlfriend, but we've been seeing each other for quite a long time. I've had a few things as well, though, where basically where we are dating, but we're not. How tall are you? Uh, I am 5'5". Five, 5'7". Five. Five, if you could bring back a person from the dead, who would you bring back? Minnie, 100%. Minnie. And for those of you that don't know, Minnie is our grandma. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how horny are you? 20. Lockdown things. Any makeup that I'm using in this like fast forward bit um, that you don't see, I will be linking down in the description box. Um, sorry, this has turned into a bit of a mess, but we're running out of time and um, we're picking up my friend on the way, so. really bad lighting but i'm in like a little bit of a rush now this is the outfit it's really cute i'll put in the description box where i got it from it's miss quest beauty or something like that can't quite remember um off instagram she's really really good um yeah i absolutely love it so we're gonna get going because i'm running super fucking late tea so we are out <laughs> you're being filmed um we have just come to a cute little um little bar yeah. very very stressful wasn't it <laughs> you're so awkward this is anna for anybody that doesn't know anna Hello. this is really awkward filming but um yeah very stressful very stressful coming out um was having major anxiety because i was running so late and yeah but we're about we to get it. yeah we made it and we're about to get some porn star martinis and just get absolutely sloshed basically <laughs> we might end up going out somewhere else because it's quite expensive <laughs> I know this is really chaotic and I apologise and if you've clicked off the video by now I don't really blame you but I didn't really get much more filming done other than kind of what we did at another pub that we went to we went to a Spoons and by this point oh, I think it was like six tequilas down seven tequilas down I was absolutely hammered so please don't judge but I thought it would be funny for you guys to see kind of how the evening progressed also I don't really know why but the um, camera quality isn't great um, it's just come out really fuzzy, so I apologise for that. Ready, <laughs> set, go! <laughs> oh wow, that is not bad. You feel? Sick. <laughs> set, go! <laughs> I'm training you for you, Nuella. What is that? It's tequila. <laughs> and I can't. Yes, you can. Right, so it is the next day. I'm struggling. 
it's safe to say you can probably tell with this video how much i had to drink but i had such a good night it was incredible i'm currently just editing the video now and i realized that i didn't finish the video but i was far too intoxicated to do so as usual if you have liked the video then don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i will see you in the next one wow.